SEC Network. On this Tuesday night, we're coming to you live from Starkville, Mississippi, on campus at Mississippi State as the 17th ranked Bulldogs entertain the Memphis Tigers. Right-handed hitting junior facing Falpito, who is making her 23rd appearance on the season. Correction, her 10th appearance on the season. Slow grounder out to first. Tough throw there, but making the grab is Madison Kennedy. Nice stretch at first. And the very swing and a miss, and Falpito gets her first strikeout of the ball game. So in the circle, don't issue any freebies. Get up in there, throw strikes. and work fast. Foul ball, could be a play, there is a play. Kennedy ranges over and she makes the grab. One, two, three, Tigers go down in order. The right-hander faces the lefty, Sacco, bounces one right back to the circle. Nicely done by Duggar. Pitch realization that illegal pitch was called. So the whole thing's nullified and then a 3-2 pitch is downstairs, ball four. This changes things dramatically here in the early going. Yeah, and I still think a great play to Duggar. Realization that illegal pitch was called. So the whole thing's nullified, and then a 3-2 pitch is downstairs, ball four. This changes things dramatically here in the early going. Yeah, and count, and then a swing and a miss, and that's a big out for Memphis early on. And now the hard-hitting Kennedy steps in, runner takes off, throw down, will be not in time. I believe they're going to call obstruction anyway. On base this season, and the count's one and one now on Kennedy, who leads the team in home runs, hits that one on the dirt to short, throw to first is low, and it gets away from Adebayo. Stopping at third is Sacco, and Kennedy will reach all the way to second. So a mistake made right there by Memphis. Count to Kennedy, to, uh, to Blaine rather, a 350 hitter on the year. High fly ball headed towards the gap, back, back and off the wall. This should score two. Sacco scores, throws cut off. Kennedy scores, stand up, two RBI double for Blaine. And the Bulldogs are on the board first, two nothing thought it was going to make it out of here and almost did, sends it to center field and just barely doesn't get over that wall. I could have been a three-run home run for her, but she'll take the two RBI double. I believe that's in Western New York. Ella Wesolowski hits that one towards center field, ranging over is Adams. She can't get there in time. Blaine turns around third, throw home, not in time. And now getting back to first base after an RBI single is Wesolowski. Dogs increase out of Cornelia, Georgia, steps in from the right side. Hits one high into the air. Can the wind carry it back? Back it will off the scoreboard. A two-run home run from Paige Cook. Got it up in the jet stream, and the Bulldogs are in command, 5-0. Yeah, and yet again, uh, another great hit for the Bulldogs, this time Paige Cook, which results in a home run. Uh, this is Mississippi State taking advantage. Possibly could have been a new inning, a couple of mistakes from Memphis, and they capitalize, get some big hits, and then Paige Cook hits a home run to give the Bulldogs a 5-0 lead. The wind is blowing out to left tonight. And that will be ball four. So Brownlee draws the walk, her eighth walk of the season. Here to do, she simply takes what the defense is giving her. Edwards hits one high, hits one deep. That is into the trees and headed for Highway 182. A two-run shot from Kylie Edwards. It's all Mississippi State in the first. She got a hold of this one, too, and I mean, <laughs> just decided to send it. What a home run from Kylie Edwards. We've seen her do it a couple of times. This freshman has really shown that she can be a threat with the long ball, and look at her. I mean, just stands there. She knew it the second she hit it, casually goes to first. I mean, that was a bomb.
What a great swing and a no doubter. Yeah. Took a few seconds to admire it. I don't blame her. I don't either. That was a that was a great home run. Had a chance to visit with her dad, Steve, over the weekend. High pop up should be caught in left. Calling for it is uh, Cox Cole. That's Ariana Cox Cole. And she makes the grab for a big out number two and a batting 363 on the year. The on base percentage still above 500. And she'll earn her way on base yet again. For the 38th time this year, Sacco draws the walk. Very smart. The batting average is high, and she gets on base over 50% of the time. And then she can do that as well. Second stolen base tonight for Sacco. She's now 18 for 18, a perfect. And Edwards home run. That ball headed towards the gap. That drops in. That will be an RBI base hit. It could be three for Barbary. She will slide in head first, and she is safe. And the Bulldogs tack on some extra offense here in the first. Even with that, though, I mean, I, a great hit from Barbary, and I, I think even better base running from her as well, just being third on the error, charge to the right fielder as Kennedy slaps one through into left. Uh, they want the game to begin. This is it. And then some, perhaps. I, I imagine this is how you want most games to begin if you're a coach. And uh, you get it going tonight. Walk. So now two Bulldogs on base for Wesolowski. Hits one up the middle for a base hit. Rounding third is Kennedy. She'll be waved home and perhaps should have slid, but she'll be safe at home regardless in her first at bat. Up the middle again. This might score two. Easily scoring is Blaine. Wesolowski will also score. And it's 12-0 Mississippi State. And the hit parade continues. Here. Up the middle and again, State is just simply going right up the middle against Brown. And Memphis unable to get that elusive third out. And that's, I think. Her fifth home run of the year, but on this freshman starting at DP tonight for coach Van Brakel pro throw. This will be her 33rd start of the season. Slow roller out to short, gonna have to be a tag applied and unable to get the glove on the back of Manus is Hole, your new first baseman. And one at a time, play smart, don't swing at everything and Brown you can ball. do that. Look at there, nice hit. The opposite way, very good at bat from Polk. Bulldogs, as the catcher for the Tigers, Francesca Lump, steps in. She hammers one out to left center, but Sacco tracks it down and gets it back in in time. Neither runner can advance. Nice catch there in the outfield. We still got a ways to go in this one. Just the top of the second. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Throw to third there for the force out of the lead runner. Nicely done by Fapito. Memphis looking for their first run of the ball game. That time, Fapito found the inside corner against the right-hander Adams. And Al evening has turned overcast here in Starkville. And there's a leadoff walk issued as Hawkins has a quality AB and takes a free trip down to first base. So let's see, what's the on-base percentage now? Oh, ball got away from the catcher lump. Hawkins will reach second base, no throw attempted. And State's got a runner on in scoring position with no one out. It's three and two. That ball lifted in the center, grabbed out of the air by Adams, who came in about three steps. They had to put the brakes on. <laughs> they go back a step and made the catch. The Bulldogs have seven hitters in the lineup at the moment that are hitting 
at least 300. That ball blocked up by Lump, but still once already tonight had an RBI double and scored a run. Last inning, bouncer that eats up the shortstop. Throw to first, though, is still going to be in time. Nicely done at short by Simeon, who had an error last inning. This time she recovers in time to get the out, but the run does score. The lead is now 13-0 for State. Yeah, and what a play from Simeon, though. I mean, really didn't look like she was going to be able to make that play in time. Trying to get out of the inning, only one run has scored. Hole fights that one off, foul territory coming over and making the grab. In left is Cox Cole in foul territory. Akira Sells now in center. Hot shot over to third. Throw across is there in time as Davidson, your new third baseman for State, throws across the hole. I think Sacco actually is moved to the DP position. That ball is going to go up the middle and find some green grass. Base hit for Simeon. And she's on base for the first time today. Ground ball over to third. Throw to second for one. Relay though, not in time. Good job there though by State defensively to get the force out. And the swing and a miss, and Thomas goes down on strikes and final pito. Continues to pitch a shutout. 13 nothing. That, yep, that does seem to be the case. Just that, that first inning was I, tough to do. I, I mean, no matter what level you're at, that, that is tough to do in an inning. And Morgan Bernardini. Bernardini, a sophomore right hander, number 13. That ball got away from love that. Much heralded recruiting class for State a couple of years ago. A worm burner out towards second base, scooped up by Morris and flipped to first game for State's 10th hit as a team. And 14th run. That ball's down and in, ball four. Good at bat there by Bernie. She draws the walk, her federal, but no non-conference games on the schedule either. Flying ball in the center field, should be caught and will be caught by Adams. So Sells battles, but cannot find that elusive. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's not an easy way to end the season. No, it's not. Playing Georgia and Missouri back to back to end the year in the SEC. Edwards steps up and hits one in the left in third as Bernie goes to second base. And the dogs are on top now 14 to zero. Just sends it to shallow left field and puts one home, gets herself on base, keeps the inning alive. Bouncer over the head of the pitcher and the out will be recorded at second base. So good job there by Brown. She'll keep the Bulldogs. What's her name? I... Bouncer to short. Scooped, thrown the first in time, nicely done. And Manus is retired by Edwards. I'm not Hosanna Lindblade. Change up, crushed deep to left, over the head, and to the wall. Nicely done as Bernardini couldn't catch up to it, and Michaela Polk has an extra base hit, and she has gone. Sit here would probably. Give her her sixth RBI. Instead, she'll take a walk and now a throw back to second, and the ball gets away. And sliding in a third is Polk. And Memphis has runners at the corners. So a double and a walk after Maine is grounded out. Runner takes off for second, no throw attempted, trying to prevent the double steal, so they'll just simply give Lynn Blade in the circle, Blaine behind the plate. Ball gets away from Blaine, runner takes off, she'll score standing up, and Memphis is on the board as Polk, who got the double, is rewarded with a run scored. They just need to get it a little higher up right now and it might have a chance. The 2-2, two -two. sharply hit ground ball to short, the runner took off for home. The throw will get there, and she will be out. Lump 
execute the play and get the out at home plate. Yeah, I wanted to go first and recognized it, fired away to Blaine, and Blaine got it perfectly in time and just... Both teams have now committed two errors. Runner takes off, throw down, not quite in time. Stolen base for Morris. And Memphis has another runner on in scoring position here in... Swing and a miss. This time will strike out swinging. And Hosanna Lindblade gets out of the inning with limited damage. Dogs on top, 14 to one. We might even get home before your bedtime. If that is possible, I would very much appreciate that. Right through the wickets at third base, Polk, who's had a great ball game. Davidson one for three on the season in limited action. Hits one off the glove of the pitcher and everyone's going to be safe. And I think home half of the fourth inning. Dogs in control. That ball pulled towards first base. Going to be a foot race and getting there just in time is Riley Hole. Look at the hustle up the line. The 2-2. Two -two. St. Clair hits one through the right side. This will score one, maybe two. Throw home is not in time. St. Clair takes off for second. She's in there safely with an aggressive head first slide. And that'll be a two RBI base hit. Is now leading 16 to one. Yeah, St. Clair in a little bit of a, a hitting slump, but comes into this one and put one on the ground to right field, brought two in and had an opportunity to take second and was able to do so. And two runs driven in. Bernardini hits one high in the air, shallow right behind the bag of second. For Mississippi State, and even though Bernie pinch runs quite often, doesn't see the plate a lot, and has upped her on base percentage to 750. Rowdy Hole got caught in a rundown, and she'll be tagged out between home and third. So Memphis erases the lead runner. High fly ball off the bat of Sells. First baseman calls for it, and it's squeezed for the out by Adebayo. So the Sells in right. And Bernardini still in left. Pop up off the bat. Hopefully you have some of that confidence back, but you get tomorrow, that is not an easy non-conference game. Uh, South Alabama is three and two. Round ball, fair ball, nicely done by Adebayo. She'll try to go for two, and she is there standing up. It's impressive. Swing and a miss, and that is the exclamation point on a dominating Bulldog victory. 16 to one, your final score as Sosa gets the strikeout to end it in five. The pitching was solid. You allowed that one run in the top of the fourth. Otherwise, you scored a run or more in every inning. Just a really good bounce back game I think for these Bulldogs before getting a tough non-conference game tomorrow and a break from SEC play.